welcome to the next episode of Game with the Mountain. I have Jason in here, and we're going to do 1,500 points of Astra Militarum. That's me. Or cult Mechanicus. <laughs> cult Mechanicus. So you're bringing a formation, and smattering of other things, I'm bringing combined arms formation. See if I can get down this Astra Militarum, make him look good, make him do well for me. We're going to play Spoils of War. And right now we're going to go right to the game and the table. But if you want to see our, I'll show you the armies really briefly in a moment. But if you want to see full details and close-up picture of the army, you can go to the pre-game show where I go in close to the camera and show everything and talk in detail about what's actually in the units. Right now, let's get to the game. All right, briefly before we do the game, here's my 1,500-point astromaterium list. This is my Warlord and a Punisher. He's got an Executioner with him. Heavy support, I have two Battle Tanks, Wyvern Battery, three Veteran Squads, all in Chimeras. That is 1,500 points of astromaterium. And over here, add mech. So I know all this is a formation. What are they called? That formation? Elimination maniple. All right. So it has two units of destroyers. Destroyers. Two units of the cat. Oh, I forget. Cat Castellan. Castellan robots. And then we also bring in here a Dominus and two more units of breachers. There we go. So I'll go to the pregame for the full details of what they are carrying, but you can pretty much see what everything has just by it's all over. Big. There you go. All right, here we are deployed. I have a marker underneath my commander. I have a marker underneath, underneath the wyverns over here, one in the middle. We have the admech, possibly going first. All spreading out across the center here, looking at more than a few objectives. I have veterans on one flank, veterans in the middle, and veterans way over here. Veterans everywhere. One thing, one thing I did forget to say during the pregame, if you guys watched that, is all my tanks have camo netting. Not my chimeras though; they do not. And night fighting is in effect. All right, I'm gonna attempt to steal the initiative. I do not. All right. Admech, turn one. Admech cards, turn one, or big game hunter, ascendancy, and blood and guts. So it can't be for turn one will be shroud psalm. It gives my entire army shrouded, and the unit with my warlord has shrouded and stealth. For the Move it through cover. We're going four inches, they're called breachers? Yes. I got it. <laughs> Continuing the movement. Big scary robots coming right for me. Get the robots up there. Change that at the end of the turn. Keep on the breachers moving forward. Get in the cover. Move the cover. Ooh, <laughs> not very far. Not, not quite. Yes. Everything keep coming on forward. Maybe yeah. changing thoughts. Moving on up. Turn this way. Got a lot of armor on the field. I think it's, well, you got a lot of haywire, right? I got a few, and plasma helps. Uh, in the shooting phase, the Castellan is going to go ahead and fire at my mech course here. It's going to use his uh, twin link heavy phosphor blaster, hitting on fours. We got one hit, but we're rolling for two hits. And up there. And three more shots. This not is not twin linked, hitting on fours. Three hits total. Glancing on sixes. Nothing. Now the destroyers are here to fire their haywire shots into my wyverns, so we got six shots total here? Yes. Hitting on fours? Yes. I got two hits. Basically just haywires. So what are they going to be? What will be nothing? Two glancing hits. Front armor is obscured for five up save, plus night fighting for four up, and camel nets for three up cover saves. Make them both. Nice. So the destroyers are here to fire their plasma culverins into my chimera. We got get hot over here. One. Not bad. With a four plus save. Nope, so he takes one wound. All right, you have five shots coming in here. First one is going to hit. Yeah, three inches. And the second one is a hit. The third one. Oh, another hit. Fourth one. Hit. Fifth one. Oh, boy. Hit. hit? Oh, boy. I'm looking for five to glance. We got two lenses and a pen. Five up cover save from obscurity here, and then uh, night fighting for four up. Nope, they all go through. We're gonna see if it explodes. And then, yeah, nope. Their leadership tests for the, uh, ex or sorry, the pen it took, they passed. And their pitting test, they passed. Castells over here gonna run four inches. Yeah. Admech turn one, scoring big game hunter and first blood. And throwing away blood and guts. That makes sense. 
My cards are Overwhelming Firepower, Assassinate, Marker number 5. Marker number 5 is over there, and I don't think I can get to it this turn. Starting with this Chimera, I'm going to pivot and move, move 12, as far off as I can. This guy is not going to move, nor is this tank. I even have this veteran squad move as far as they can, though. And then I'm going to take... Ooh, no, I'm going to move him back a bit. I'm going to get Plasma Cannons on target. I'm going to take the full distance and play on the flat and moat first before I do any shooting. These guys can kind of uh, spread apart. And uh, let's see, these guys have to go move through cover over here. They're going three inches. And we're going to take the bass, or sorry, the Limitless Paddle Tank and back them up. I'm not going to do any orders this turn because I need to move this thing out of my way before I start shooting with this squad. So I'm going to skip orders for this turn. So the Chimera will go six inches now. Flat out. Alright, the Wyverns are going to fire now. We're going to put all our shots right on the head of the Dominus. Alright, we're aiming right for his head. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves a direct hit. Alright, second shot is going to go over a bit. Twin link. Oh, what am I doing that for? <laughs> Barrage. Uh, I don't like that anyway. I'm going to reroll that. So we go back and get one more. Third shot, direct hit. Next one's here, so I'm gonna put the third one over here. It's gonna get one here and one Castellan. Fourth shot, direct it. Roll the two dice again. All right, roll the two dice again. <laughs> so same thing, I'm gonna put it on another shot there and on him. Sounds good. Fifth shot, same thing, one and one. Sixth, same thing, one and one. Going on. Uh, flips over off of this one for the same, the same thing. Going on, that's gonna flip forward, so we get nothing. Wow. Then we get another nothing. That would have been twin links, that would have been nothing on that one for sure. So, ninth shot is gonna flip back and get two. Tenth shot is gonna go and get nothing, so I'm gonna reroll it and get me two. Keep going here. Here's another two. So I got 13 hits on this squad and five hits on them. I'm looking for five to wound with Shred. The squad has taken seven hits, or seven wounds. We're gonna roll one at a time on the Dominus because he was the direct target there. So the first one was safe. He has a two plus armor save with oh, uh, Feel No Pain. Oh, that's the two. Oh, it's not doing good for me. And, oh, Ooh. Feel No Pain. Oh. He takes a wound. And then the Catafran up there? Castellan. Wounding them on sixes with Shred. Nothing. This battle tank. Gonna go look through that window. Put a large blast on that guy's head. We're looking to go over right here and get three on a direct hit. And we're gonna go over a bit. Going over and just clipping a one model. Three's a wound. No wound. We have the plasma guns next. We have five plasma shots coming in. Uh, I'll give, I'll get shot here. We have one that gets shot, but I do have preferred enemy for my warlord in the squadron. So no get shot. All on his head. So the first one is probably gonna miss. Second one will get me one. Third one will get me, will get me three. So I got a total of four hits. Fourth one will miss completely. And the fifth one will give me only three hits. Ruining on twos. In the room, it's right, in the ruins with night fighting, so three and, up save. And shrouded from my camp. Oh, okay. Two up. Take two wounds. First guy's dead. I completely screwed up. Sorry, astronaut Terran players. I was thinking split fire, but no. So he has to fire at the same squad. And I don't think I can get more than two guns on them. Oh, they're a squadron. So with my error here, uh, just the big gun can see none of the hull mounted or the sponsors will be able to get on target on them. But that guy was gonna be a big juicy target for him. So we have 20 shots hitting on threes with preferred enemy. That's decent. We're wounding on fours with preferred enemy. Two up cover save. Ooh, 
using three, three wounds. Cocked. That's three. All right. Leave him down to one wound. And we have uh, this battle tank. We're gonna go fire into, uh, well, the guy in charge, his head. This is a single shot. We'll get a direct hit. This is gonna look up two models wounding on threes. Nice. Two plus armor on him. Good. Good and good. I'm gonna run the veterans two inches. We got one morale fist in the shooting face of the breacher. He's good. good. And I scored no points on my turn. All right, so we have on this side of the table we have marker number six, so ascendancy and network archaeotech, basically rolling two dice, five and one, and scoring one point for either one of those objectives. D three for both. He's already on one. He's already on five. This would be a lot of points. Turn two for the admech. Canticle of the Omniscience, Benediction of the Omniscience, Omni, Om, Om, Omniscience, Omniscience, oh, okay. So basically everybody's going to be rolling ones and twos in the shooting phase, but the Warlord Disc Squad will basically have Twin Link be rolling everything. And now they're trucking on forward. Through cover? Preacher's moving through cover. Right, Move above. So at the beginning of my turn, my Warlord was using the Scryer Skull Perspectus, and it lets me scry a vehicle, so I'm scrying the tank there to make it so I can reroll armor penetration rolls. And now they're going to run off board. I don't like everything coming over here. Leave the veterans alone. <laughs> Breacher's moving through cover. He's going five. He can come out with this other manifold over here. Move the cover to the destroyers. Five again. Breacher with the torsion cans and fire into my chimera. Hitting on a four. Rerolling ones and twos. We got a hit. Strength eight at the side. Glance on a two. We got a pen. Adding two to the chart for the penetrating hit. We have a weapon destroyed. One, two, three will be the heavy bolter. Four, five, six. We lost the multi laser. But it does have torsion, so that's actually D3 hull points. Wrecks it. You do morale touch the guys inside from the uh, penetrating hit they took. Nothing, and then their pinning test, they're good as well. As they all run into the smoke and ruin. Over here, we've got the Castellans firing at my veterans. I've got a, a one torrent flamer. And getting a bunch of guys in torrent flamer. Looks like seven. Uh, or no regular flamer. Just regular flamer? Okay, wounding on threes. That's gonna kill nice. three of them. <laughs> Next, the pistol is gonna fire. Is that a Dominus? Uh, no, that's the Data Smith. Data Smith. Yeah, Strength 6 uh, AP2 pistol. Hitting on a three, wounding on a two. And I'm gonna take my cover save of five up. Nope. So we're gonna go. Wow. And now the big bad gun. So the first one, Twin Link, hitting on fours. We got three hits, and the second one not twin link. Three rolling ones and twos. Yes, sir. Well, hey, we got five hits, wounding on twos. One, two, three, four. Three wounds, cover save, five up. Two die. I think I just lost a plasma gun. Two of the destroyers are here, and fire plasma blasts at my veterans. Are they gonna get hot? Hopefully not. Re rolling ones, though. There we go, nothing to Right in my surgeon's head, we get a nine and a direct hit. That's gonna go quite a far. Yeah. Second one, we get nine hits. Third one is gonna miss. And fourth one, we get another nine hits. Eight. Wounding on twos. All right, so first two are out in the open and can't get anything other than their six up going to ground save. They're dead. Next guy will be behind ruins. He has a three up save. He's dead. And then two guys out in the open again, six up. And then three up. He's dead. Two six ups. They're dead. So yeah, two guys left who are gonna get three up cover saves. I don't think he possibly no they're dead. So my tech priest is going to start off on this side, not shooting his pistol to heal himself a wound for on a 2 plus. So he's back to full wounds. Then we have the destroyers shooting at my chimera. 
Right, we have 18 shots, grab weapons, hitting on fours. And basically twin link from the canticle. Thankfully. That's better. I'm looking for sixes to immobilize. Two of them will wreck me. It's wrecked. One, two. Pinning tips for my guys. They pass. The metapult's gonna run to the object number six. And they do. The breachers are now gonna fire into my wyvern squadron. All right, with their heavy arc rifles hitting on fours, rearing ones and twos. We have a one and a two. We got four hits. This is all haywire. Sixes are penetrating hits. Nothing but glances. I'm gonna get myself a four up car save from Camel Nets and then those rocks in front. And that's three gonna go through and they're gonna wreck one. End of the shooting phase of a morale test for these Marines, or not Marines, I wish they were Marines, and they're good. End of turn two, we're scoring 2d3s for Ascendancy and Network Archaeotech. It's gonna be a total of five points just for those two cards. Scoring marker number six for six points. And my marker number five. My new card is marker number two, I got her. Moving through difficult terrain, six inches. We're gonna go like so. And we're gonna have these guys wrap around their tank. Changing this movement. Going on to my shooting phase. Again, I'm gonna do no order. That's why I kinda switched them back facing that way. I really need my plasma guns for my veteran squad to start killing things before everything else starts firing. They fire like normal? All right, starting with this veteran squad, we're gonna fire into the Castella Manipold over there. So the first plasma gun, hitting on a three. Second plasma gun, we got three hits. These are wounding on fours yep. for one wound. I'm gonna look out, sir, on a four plus. Nope, so he's gonna take it with a four plus invul. Ooh, he's good. And then we have a rifle and a pistol. That wound's on a six. Hey, we got a wound. Two plus armor save. Good. Put my battle cannon right on the head of that guy. And that'll hit. Wounding on threes. We got three wounds. I'm gonna look out for all these. And two go on to the robots, one will go on to him. He has a two up armor save, do him first. He's good, and then two of the robots, no armor save, just fill no pain. Five plus invul first. And then fill no pain. Two. All right. Made one invul, fell to the one, and fell to fill no pain. So one so went through. two left. Or my, sorry, my tank command squad's gonna go. First executioner's gonna fire into them. So we have one sponsor not on arc. So we're gonna get four. Shots with gets hot, but preferred enemy. It's nobody's getting hot. Right on his head. First shot is gonna miss. Second shot is gonna hit. Third shot hits. Fourth shot is gonna miss. Two of six hits, wounding on fours. We got three wounds. Um, so I'm gonna look out to all three. Look out to all three. So he's gonna he take takes two. And so one onto the him first. Him first. Four plus involve. And feel no pain. Ooh, no damage. pain. And then five plus involve on the Castellan. Fails, and then feel no pain. Nope, takes another one. Takes another wound, okay. Almost. And now the Gatling cannon and the heavy bolters. 29 shots into them, hitting on threes. With preferred enemy. Wounding on sixes with the front enemy. We have two wounds. And two plus armor. These are both. These vectors are gonna go. Starting with plasma guns. We have three of them in rapid fire range, hitting the Castello Manipold. First one, two hits. Second one, gets hot, no hits. Did no damage though. And the third one, one hit. And kills him. These are wounding on fours. Battle cannon time right on to that guy's head. We are going to miss. So the wyvern's gonna go, we're gonna fire on to the same guy's head. So right on his head, the first one's gonna be a direct hit. I'm getting myself two. The, should I find the dice? Oh, there we go. The second shot is, oh, why am I rolling dice again? It's gonna flip, but I'm gonna re-roll that. I'll get one. 
Third shot, it's gonna miss. And then get two. Fourth shot, gets two more. Fifth shot, gets two. Sixth, we'll get nothing. We'll get one. Yeah. Keep going here. Another one, I'll take it. And two more. Wounding on fives with shred. Three of armor saves. Oh, they're all good. Oof. End of my turn, I score marker number two. And I'm going to keep the rest of my cards. All right, so new cards for Admech turn three. Hold the line, supremacy, and praise the machine god. Basically, you have to pick one of these mechanicals. I'll show you these canticles on the card and then scoring a point. So you are using which canticles are called? I'm using Incantation of the Iron Soul, giving my army stubborn. And they reroll morale, fear, and pinning tests. And my warlord trait had, my warlord and his unit have fearless. And then we move phase with the manifold. Leaving marker number six. As the breachers go ahead and grab the objective. Scryer Skull is being used on my executioner. Moving through cover for this breacher. He's gonna move five inches. Heading over to my wreck. Moving through cover for the Warlord's Command here. Three inches. Getting on the objective. Getting themselves some good cover. And then... We have a manifold coming right from my lines. And more breachers, destroyers, sorry. Shrugging on forward. <clears throat> and there ends the movement phase. Torsion cannon firing into my executioner over here. Oh, Hitting on a four. Hits. Strength eight. eight. Yep. Looking for a six to glance. No, wing armor pen. No. Two of the grab weapons are gonna fire into the same executioner. Hitting off fours. Decent. And looking for sixes. One. one. Only cover I'm gonna get is from my tank, because Billy's not covering me enough to get the four up, so I got myself a five up plus cam lighting for a four up. Nice. Yes. Got a flame over here, hitting all three of my or all four of my guardsmen. Threes. <laughs> Ooh, hey, they're good. <laughs> Two cognos blasters into them. Uh, Phosphor Blasters. Phosphor Blasters. Hit no four. 20. Three hits. What's strength this? Strength five, AP four. Wounding on three, two. Wounding on two. One, two, three. Gonna go to ground for a four up. Hey, one dies. Worth it. Yoink. Are you guys gonna go with a Torrent Flamer? Getting all three? Yeah. And these are wounding on threes. And two dead. So we knock out my plasmas, but the Sergeant's still alive. Twin linked shots and heavy phosphor blaster hitting on fours. Twin linked. And we got one hit and then three more not twin linked. We got three as total, wounding on twos. We got three wounds. One day round for four up cover. No, he's dead. Ah. Um, Torn flamer from the manifold getting all my guardsmen. Wounding on threes. Kills five. One, two, three, four, five. Heavy phosphor blaster. Hitting on a four. Yeah, twin linked. One hit, re-rolling. We got two hits, and then three more that aren't twin linked. Hitting on four. Oh boy. Wounding on twos. They go to ground, six up cover. Hey. Nice. And then we have a pistol. Hitting on a three, I think. Yes. Ooh, Nothing. I don't wanna know. And no shooting phase, morale test. We're good. All right, scoring Praise the Machine God for D3. No, just one. Um, yeah. Not scoring supremacy yet. And tossing hold the line. Yes. My new card is Blood and Guts Kill Something in the Assault Phase. Okay, let's try this. Everything's done over here. And this guy's gonna go. Alright, I'm ordering split fire on this unit. Successfully. So they're gonna, he's gonna fire first into the Castellan Manipold. Five gets hot with third enemy. Yeah, we'll go. So far, I can't get direct hit on two, so I'll just go for direct dead center. <laughs> First shot is a direct hit for one. Second shot is gonna go over four inches. Which is gonna miss. And then we got another direct hit. And we're gonna go three, make it two. Actually, only gets one. And uh, last one, direct hit for one more. Wounding on fours. I'm gonna take the four plus invuln. 
Mix it. And then 29 shots into uh, these guys. <laughs> first gonna do all the heavy bolters first for their AP4. Heavy bolters hitting on threes. And they're wounding on fours with preferred enemy. That actually kills all of them. And no, uh, this is a mistake. He has nothing in arc. He has nothing his barrel can spin and hit. Oh, well, Wyvern's gonna go, and they're gonna go for uh, these guys here. Wyvern's actually gonna go for the Warlord's unit. I'm going for right there. And I'm gonna reroll out with Twin Linked for a direct hit. Nice. And then we got a flip. It'll get me two, but I don't wanna hit the Dominus. I'm gonna retry this. I'm gonna go back here, hit these two. I'll take that. And then the third, we'll go back and get one. I'll take it. Fourth, three more. Fifth, I'm going to reroll that. Uh, is it by me three hits? <clears throat> My voice keeps cracking today. Uh, well, I'll take the three. No, that won't be, that won't be three. That'll be two. Like the last one was two as well. So I'm going to reroll that one. There you go, there's three. Uh, I'm going to re-roll that and get myself two. Two, yeah. And my very last one, direct hit, three more. Three more. Wounding on fives with Shred. All right, Shred, ten hits total here, I think, ish. Does he get covered? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, putting him on the Dominus first, starting with him two at a time. Uh, we're good. Two up armor saves. Good. Good. Eats them for breakfast. God, so very good. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. They're not firing. There's nothing they can see that can they can wound. So that ends my turn, and I'm going to score overwhelming firepower. New cards are psychological warfare and overwhelming firepower. Still holding on to supremacy. Okay, so for my Canticle of the Omnisaya, I'm using Benediction of Omniscience for the second time, letting my army reroll ones and twos, and my Warlord squad reroll everything. And he's also going to scry the Warlord's tank, letting me reroll the armor penetration rolls. Alright, so the Castellan Manipold is coming right for my Warlord's tank. Slide it away from right there. And we're sending the other Manipold towards my tanks. Moving, moving, moving. As long as everything keeps moving forward, I'm going to start backing up off the table. <laughs> Beep, 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 going home. Moving the cover for the Dominus six inches. All the torsion cannons are gonna fire into my wyverns over here. We're hitting on a four. We got a hit, a glancing on a four. We got a pen. Cover plus camel nettings is a four up. That's a five. Score. Shooting a pistol at my tank. Hitting on a three. Is it rolling ones and twos? Oh yeah. Alright, we got a hit. And armor being strength six. Nothing. Two of the grab guys are gonna fire. Actually, I think all three can fire into my plasma can hit a tank over here. These are hitting on fours twin link. Twinling in them for a lot of hits. We're looking for a handful of sixes here. One, two. Two. Five of cover plus camel links or four up. Made it. Uh, oh, there's two. two. Nope. Mobilized. And none to do. Three heavy arc rifles are gonna fire into my side armor. Hitting on fours. Ooh. Oh boy. These are strength eight. Uh, haywire. Haywire. Oh. We got That's, six uh, glances. Yeah. Firing through the runes here plus camel links for three up cover save. Ooh, so close. Down to one. Still on firing his pistol into my wyvern, hitting on three. Rerolling ones and twos. Four. Ooh, we got a hit. Pain strength six, glancing on a six. We got a pen. Uh, five of cover puts camel nets for three. Yay, four up I mean, and it goes through. So pen goes through. AP two. Oh, and up topped. Immobilized. Down to two. That is six inch charge. Dash is gonna declare a charge on my water tank. I'm going to overwatch with uh, Bombardment. Externatus, something. I don't know. You made it. it. <laughs> Another charger here on my Wyvern. I'm looking for like 11. A long bomb. Not Ooh, over here, we have a combat. 
All right, first of this dude right here. We have how many power fist attacks? Four, because he has two Four. power fists and one for the charge. Hitting on threes. <laughs> Ooh, boy, I like that. <laughs> strength eight, glancing on twos. He's strength 10. Strength 10, automatic. There's a pen. <laughs> uh, AP2. Immobilized. Now, his three attacks will automatically hit. He's strength eight. He's glancing on twos. He's got three pens. Uh, is it AP2? Um, yeah, because it's a power fist. Let's see if he blows up and he sixes here. Nope. Just wrecks him and that's Warlord kill. And one actually wound goes over here. <laughs> uh, the last wound goes over here and carries over to this guy and wrecks this tank as well. So they're both dead. All right, with that happening, I can finally spring my trap. You ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. I got nothing. I concede. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I did a bad job. Um, well, we're going to go ahead and play another game. Uh, we're going to go the vault and do so. I'm going to change up my list to see if I can make something better. If you're not already a vault member, you click links below and get yourself a seven day free trial to watch that game. And I'll tell you this there's also going to be a post game, also the link below. Go ahead and watch that post game and I'll, I'll let you inside my head what was going on in my head in this game, why, how I made this list and all that kind of stuff. Well, I'll come join me in that. Like, I, I'm, I'm frazzled here, man. I'm frazzled. <laughs> Just lucky dice rolls. Dude, that's very kind of you to say yeah. so. That's very, very yeah. kind of you. If we're going to do a post game right now, then we'll go do another game in the vault. Come check it out and watch me scream in our post game. I'll probably be crying in the corner. When I'm done with the crying, uh, then I'll start talking about what, what went wrong for me. That's legit. Thing I went wrong with starting with my army list. But after Bill Cameron players, please, 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 please come join me in that post game and uh, help me out. I need your help, guys. <laughs>